Hi, this is Mark with QuicksVenture.com. In this video, we're going to be installing RasBMC, the final version, this is version 1.0, on our Raspberry Pi. Since RasBMC has finally made it out of release candidate and beta status, it's ready for prime time. So go to RasBMC.com and download the RasBMC installer. One more click here to actually download the file. There's great instructions from Sam on the website itself, but uh, it's really easy to do, so just follow along here. The file's pretty small, it's a zip file, so we're going to eventually save it to the hard drive, and then go to the folder where it's been downloaded to, so that we can extract the contents of the zip file. The file is raspbmc-win32.zip, and we're just going to extract it right here. And this is really just the UI installer that's going to prepare the SD card to actually uh, install XBMC and all of the other software after it boots the first time. So it's a very bare Linux uh, boot kernel, and all the software will be downloaded after you power on the Raspberry Pi. Once you've extracted all the files from the zip, there's a setup.exe. Double-click it. It's really just a uh, self-extracting zip file that will automatically start the uh, installer.exe that's inside the file. First thing you're presented with is a warning from Sam that this utility will erase all the data on your SD card. You have to click accept to go on. And then you need to install the SD card. I've got mine here. It's an 8 gig Lexar card. Relatively slow, relatively cheap, but it works just fine. Plug that into your computer. And you may have to refresh uh, inside the uh, installer to see your card. Now you can see the card has been recognized by the installer, so just check on the uh, on the device that you want to install to. If you have multiple uh, USB thumb drives or SD cards installed, make sure you check the box by the one that you actually want to install to. There's not really going to be any more warnings after this. So check that box. You have to accept the license agreement as well, and then click install. Doing this will format and partition the SD card so that it can be used by the Raspberry Pi, and it also makes it uh, very difficult to use with Windows going forward uh, because the, most of the partitions are not readable in Windows. So if you want to revert the process and make your SD card usable in Windows again, you need to go through the same process but uh, restore the device for formatting here with this uh, button instead of clicking the install button. The installer goes out to uh, STM Labs, downloads an image, which is basically just the boot kernel, and then it lays that down after formatting the partitions. When it's done, you'll see this message, and then you'll need to uh, eject the SD card from your computer. I mean, this may be superfluous, but I always like to eject, assuming that Windows will let me even click the uh, eject button, and that way you know that the card is no longer being read or written to. That's all there is to it. Your next step is to take your SD card and to plug it into your Raspberry Pi. And then go plug your Raspberry Pi into the uh, Ethernet, power, and HDMI connections to your TV. And it takes about, I don't know, 15 to 25 minutes to install everything it needs to run XBMC for the first time. We're going to be going through that process in our next video, so stay tuned. We'll see you in a minute.